All right, welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are gonna get into a variety of topics, but this first one is about Tesla Model Y inventory. It is back. We're gonna get into some t topics today. We're gonna go through that, but we're also today, it's a special because it's a Friday. We love Fridays because Fridays is when I try and do my giveaways. And so we've got a company, shout out to Tesloid. We'll go through that. And we're gonna be giving away a floor mat. I'm gonna give you the exact instructions and this is gonna be floor mats for the model 3 or model or the model y 3d floor mats some nice all-weather ones and so after probably in the middle of the video somewhere in the between somewhere we're going to give you the exact instructions and of course i'll paste it down below in the comments so that you can enter in it for a chance to win a giveaway for these 3d floor mats so good luck to everybody on that but uh before we get into all of that let's roll that intro real quick All right, so thanks for watching another stream. Thanks for watching another video. My name is Dennis, and I love talking about Tesla hacking, as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best deal on a Tesla at the best possible price, or just getting really good financing on your Tesla. So if you're interested in any of that, please hit that subscribe. And today's video is actually sponsored by Tesloid, the part manufacturer, the part Tesla part seller. So thank you to Tesloid for sponsoring this video and the giveaway, but more on that later. And of course, thank you to my newest Patreon members, Connor, Steve, Rohan, Yash, Billy, San, Greg, Kevin, Luddy, Christian, Lawrence, thank you all for joining the Patreon. Thank you for supporting. If you want to join, if you want to go ahead and support the channel, go ahead and check it out. Link down below in the description. All right, so let's let's just jump into this. This is why we're all here, but uh, spoiler alert, the Tesla Model Y is now has some available inventory. So what's going on? I mean, this is Tesla's MO. This is, they've been doing this for like every other week or so. And so, you know, there's a good amount of inventory inventory available but the catch is it's not necessarily model y long long range inventory or it's not necessarily model y performance inventory and so last friday if we go back to the history books the long range was increased in price and also the performance and actually also this Model Y standard range is what's actually available. Also increased in price last week as well. So we're predicting, you know, some sort of price increase on some Model Y variant this, probably this weekend, I would say, or at least maybe even next week. Or does Tesla not do any of that and just leaves the prices alone? Because we are getting to the last uh, couple weeks of the month or maybe even that week and a half of this month. And maybe they don't want to mess with year and sales for that. But let's just take a look at it. So you this is where we can go see all this inventory that's actually available. Go to waitingfortesla.com. It's a third-party aggregator site. It's uh, You don't buy the vehicle off of waitingfortesla.com. It actually links you to tesla.com's website. I just got asked that question today, and it makes sense, right? Like Some people might not understand what this site exactly is, but it's just like a linking site. So you find the vehicle you want, you figure out where you're at in the country, and then you pick the click the link and it takes you exactly to the tesla.com site so that you can you know secure it lock it down and then put your name on it and so the the thing is here like we've been looking at this site we look at it almost every single day so shout out to tj and the team at waiting for tesla.com and you can see here 243 Model Ys that just became available. And there was not this many Model Ys yesterday at all. Like yesterday, there was what? Like almost next to none, 12 Model Ys available for sale. But then now we've got a good amount. I mean, Tesla's been doing this for a while now. They the, What they'll do is they'll just dump like a bunch of Model Ys available for sale all at once, like overnight. I think this happened earlier this morning because I remember someone commented. So thank you to that viewer for commenting, trying to let me know ASAP. So thank you for that. But uh, yeah, a good amount of them are, of course, this Model Y all-wheel drive variant, which means that they're coming from Austin, Texas for the most part. So that goes into, you know, what's a better build Model Y, like Austin versus Fremont. You know, there's a lot of, you know, people believe certain things about that, whether that's good or not. So, you know, you can make your own conclusions on that. But the TLDR is that uh, Fremont Model Ys might be a better quality build Tesla and they might have better features like matrix headlights and better build quality and all that stuff. But, you know, you can go out and research and make your own decision from that uh, as well. But looking at the long range side, there's what, seven of them available. So there is possibly, oh, this one's in California too. There, you know, you can pers possibly try and lock one down if you're quick enough, if you have a pending order. But for the most part, like, 
this might, if you're like worried about this $7,500 tax credit, then you might want to consider switching to an all-wheel drive or just, you know, gamble. At this point, like I feel like the Teslas will still continue to keep that $7,500, at least the Tesla Model Y. Probably not on the Model 3 side, but, uh, you know, possibly, possibly on the Model Y side. But there's a good amount of them here. There's a good amount of them available. Seems like a lot of these are in transit or in production. So Tesla's pretty much like, you know, just putting these out there so that they can try and get them sold ASAP, but because they're not exactly at your local Tesla center just yet. So let me know your thoughts. It seems like they got induction wheels again, and they're basically built a bunch of these that are all the same exact type of Tesla Model Y. It looks like white, black, 20 inch rims. Okay, finally, there's some other colors here because that was all sorted at the low price. That makes sense. So now I'm really curious, like how many of these actually are there? We know Tesla messes with inventory. They mess with actual allocation or they mess with how many are actually on their website. And so there's a good chance like this actually might not be how many there are out there. And there might be a lot more that's actually available that they're not showing on the website. That's for sure. But definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let, you know, let me know your thoughts. Are you switching? Are you still going to gamble, gamble on 